In this video, we are going to learn how to download a data set in PyCaret. There are different types of machine learning algorithms such as regression, classification and clustering. We are going to download a data set for classification. From PyCaret, let's import data set. From PyCaret dot data sets import get underscore data. Now we have to define one variable in which we are going to store our data. I'm going to make one variable data. And I will use the method get underscore data. Inside this we have to pass the data set name and there are many data sets which are available in PyCaret. You can get all the list of data sets which are available in PyCaret on their GitHub page. This is the GitHub page of PyCaret. I will put the link in the description below so you can come on this page and you can download any data of your choice. These data are different for different algorithms such as for regression, classification and clustering. In this video, we are going to download house data. So inside this, I have to pass the data name and you will see here in PyCaret GitHub page they have given the house data here. This is the house.csv. So we are going to download this data set in our tutorial. So I will type here house. And now I execute the code. This will load the data set in our Jupyter notebook. And once we get the data, we can start working on this. We got our data set and we can start exploring this data. Let's check the shape of our data, data.shape. It contains 1460 rows and 81 columns. We can get the names of every column. We will type data.columns. And these are the names of columns which are available in our data set, such as ID, MS subclass, MS zoning, lot frontage, lot area, and so on. We can also check the size of our data, data dot size. And size is 118260. So this size is multiplication of 1460 into 81. If I multiply 1460 into 81, I'll get the size. I'll show you this. So I'll multiply 1460 into 81. And you can get I got the same result here 118260. So size is nothing but the multiplication of rows and columns. We can also look at the head of the data and this will show us top five rows data dot head. These are the top five rows of our house data. One, two, three, four and five. We can also check the bottom five rows of our data. We have to type data dot tail. And here we got the bottom five rows. 1455, 1456, 1457, 1458 and 1459. We can also get some statistics about our data using the method describe. We will type data dot describe. And we got count that is the total number of samples which are available in our data. There are total 1460 samples. And we got mean for each columns. So the mean for MS subclass is 56. And for lot frontage it is 70, lot area 10516 and so on. Similarly we got standard deviation. And this is the minimum value that is the minimum value in variable ms subclass is 20 we have this 25 percent which is first quartile then we have 50 percent which is also known as median or second quartile 75 percent is the third quartile and this is the maximum value so in our ms subclass the maximum value is 190. so this is how you can download any data set from pycaret we have seen how to download house data we can also download any other data. Let us go to the GitHub page and this is the GitHub page. So we have currently downloaded this house.csv. Let's try to download this gold CSV. 
so just instead of house you have to type the data set name and the data set name is gold dot csv but we don't have to put the extension here dot csv we just have to type gold here and now i'm going to run this line and this will download the gold data set in a jupyter notebook it will take one to two minutes to download the data set now you can see that we got the gold data set in our jupyter notebook and these are the data available for this gold.csv file we can check its shape and everything so in this data set we have total 2558 rows and 121 columns we can also check its column names so these are the column names 3m libor t1 and so on we can also check its size as i have told you size is nothing but the multiplication of rows into columns we can look at the head of the data set and these are the top five rows of our data set gold uh, similarly we can also look at the bottom five rows data dot tail so these are the bottom five rows we can also use the describe method to get some statistics about our data set. So we can see that we have got mean, standard deviation, minimum value. Then these are the quartiles, first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, and the maximum value. So this is how you can download any data set which is available in PyCaret, and you can get all the list of data set on their GitHub page. Uh, if you come to this GitHub page, you will get the list of the data set which is available in the PyCaret package. You can get the get the name from here and just put it in the function and you will be able to download this data set on your Jupyter notebook. So this tutorial was about how to download a data set in PyCaret. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.